hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to see how we can create an entity in content hub using web client SDK so yeah let's just get started uh, and before that uh, just for information I am logged into this uh, content hub environment using a script user so if I go to my create page let's just see if we have anything there or not so right now you see like there are no results there <coughs> which means there are no assets uh, so far and the entity which we're going to create in this uh, environment is of m.asset um, m.asset type and you know there are different uh, entities available you can create you know as many entities uh, you know of your choice there but this demo is specific to m.asset right <coughs> so in order to create an entity uh, in content hub we <coughs> we have to use entity framework uh, sorry we have to use entity factory for that and uh, that entity factory to create async method we have to use so let's just get started here yeah so this is the basic one we are not going to do this now okay so yeah so for before that let's just do one thing let's just go here okay and let's just create a folder we can call it as we just uh, insert folder and we just call it as operations right because we are going to check other operations also not just create and yeah so we have this operations just include and this is specific to create so let's just create uh, a new class and we can call it as still loading for some reason my Visual Studio 2019 is slow today so just bear with me yeah so let's just call it as create entity okay okay so now um, I have a class called create entity dot CS so as I mentioned like we have to use entity factory uh, to create uh, an object of uh, uh, entity uh, like whatever you know entity we want to create so <coughs> in order to do that let's just uh, uh, create a method which uh, we can call it as create asset entity because we are trying to create an entity of type m dot asset type so let's just call it as and before that maybe let's just make this class as static here and then we can just say public static maybe let's just put void for now and then call it as create asset dy right because we are just going to create an asset entity okay so so far so good right so now <coughs> uh, I already have um, let me just also show you so I already have uh, you know my connector in place uh, amplet connector which is actually responsible for you know uh, creating a client uh, for me so I already have this in place so now what we can do is we can just go to this create entity and um, let's call it as m connector yeah so m connector dot client right and then we have entity fac uh, entity factory here right so let's just call it as entity factory and entity factory has a method called as create as thing right and as part of this method you can see right we have to specify the uh, right we have to specify uh, the I, uh, entity definition item right it can be an item and then uh, you know culture or uh, culture options also which is always optional so you can always specify the culture um, how we want to basically create that so what I'm just going to do for now is I'm just going to define my definition name which is nothing but uh, m dot asset right m dot asset and then uh, I'm also going to specify the culture so for that uh, we have culture load option right and I'm just calling it as second option dot second ok 
culture load option dot default right and then we have configure await here and let's just set this to false okay so now so far <coughs> you know we have just created uh, we have just called this create async method which will um, basically you know create an instance of m dot asset entity right and then uh, the output of this create async if you see like it is of uh, it is of i entity type right so let's just create a variable i of type i entity and let's just store this you know um, uh, asset entity there in that variable and call it as asset entity and yeah this is let's just resolve all the references here right and yes so we cannot just do that like that so we have to make it await and then we also have to change this to async task of long because the result which we're going to get is of long time so this okay so yeah so we have um, we have marked it as async and of type uh, task of long and here yeah it is still not returning anything which is okay we will do that uh, in the last so yeah we have just create called uh, a create async method of uh, entity fact from entity factory and then we have this asset entity right so now once we have this asset entity which means this what we can access all the properties which are part of our entity definition m dot asset so next step is uh, for this demo i'm not going to do much there but i'm just going to set something and we can just call it as set property value and uh, the field name right the name which we want to specify there is a I just want to update uh, the title and uh, um, sample asset from SDK maybe right okay so for now uh, this much only we are just setting up the uh, the title field and the value is sem a sample asset from SDK right so so far we have just created um, the, this definition of m dot asset type but we still have to save it it is still not saved right so in order to save uh, this entity we have to call uh, save async method and that you can find in under client uh, of client uh, iweb client there so if i'm not wrong it is m connector dot client right and if you see the client it is of iweb client uh, iweb m client and then here you can find your save as sync uh, uh, no one second client dot uh, yes 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 we have entities should be under entities and then save yeah so it is under this one so we have client then we have I entities and then we have save async and here um, as in parameter it is actually expecting um, an entity which we already have here I set entity and then yes uh, configure wait set false here and then so basically this will if you see the return for this one um, it will return <coughs> um, um, an asset um, you know an asset integer to you so let's just have some variable which can store the value and we can just call it as long and it is going to return an asset ID and it is yes so, so we have to make this as a weight right so now yeah so we have created this uh, create async method we have created the definition of m dot asset entity type then uh, we have also called the save async method which is part of your client or entities and then we have passed the asset entity here the asset entity which we just created here and then so basically this will um, this will give us the asset id the one which got created and then uh, we can you know just simply return the asset id okay so we have this thing ready and uh, 
what we can do next is we can right so so far good here now we can go back to our main program and here where asset ID equals to uh, our um, create entity dot so let's just resolve everything from here and dot we have this create asset entity right and yeah this should also be a fit okay so now we have just called this create asset entity and if we go back to our create entity class it has create asset entity method which basically creates um, an uh, entity definition and then it also stores this value so if we just execute this one we should expect something in uh, to be created in our uh, content hub environment with the title sample asset from SDK so let's just give it a try and let's just load it okay so it is running and uh, let's see if it giving any error meanwhile we can just go to here also okay she right so we see here like sample asset from as uh, from web client something we given right there Oh no, my system is slow today or there is, there is something special. Let's just wait. Okay, it is now loading. So yeah, so we can see right, you know, this file is uh, created and there are no renditions here because we haven't specified any uh, any file so far so that's why you know there are no renditions which is um, you know triggered and then on the overview section we have just specified the title that's why we see sample asset from SDK and that's what you know we have configured it here on the create entity when we set the property for uh, you know for this title field and similarly you can also set it for other fields also as in when required <coughs> this is one thing and uh, yeah just one more thing which I just wanted to show because we don't have any uh, renditions created because there are, you know there was no um, um, asset uh, configured there so let's just do that part uh, only and to do that um, basically you know we have to um, fetch uh, we have to fetch the asset and that asset should get linked to this particular um, you know entity right uh, so <coughs> see this is web client SDK and uh, in order to uh, configure this asset uh, configure the you know the image for your uh, entity what we can do is we have to make use of uh, we have to make use of jobs and there are different jobs which uh, which we can use from here like you can see we have you know azure fetch job request then files uh, file fetch job request and web fetch job request right so if you see here like the web fetch job request is uh, is all about fetching a job that uh, it basically fetches a file over HTTP or HTTP over uh, HTTPS, right? So that's what we are looking for. We will basically give um, a path to our asset, and that uh, we will call. You know, we will execute this uh, job, and then finally, this job should also consider the ID of your asset, but for which we want to link this particular job there. So, uh, <coughs> in order to do that, let's just you know simply copy over this code and just change it as part of a requirement. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, okay. <coughs> so, so we have this uh, web <coughs> job, and then we have. Let's just resolve the references first, okay. And then here, if you see, like we just have to specify, um, you know, uh, this is just a title. Uh, there is nothing much here. So if you see, like it's just a description. So I can just say. Uh, sample asset file maybe and then this i 1000 is nothing but your id right if you see here um, fetches an image from the public or and link to an asset with the id 1000 so that's the id which they are looking here and this is not the id for us so we just have to replace this id here 
and then the next thing is we also have to uh, change the image that's this not what I am looking for uh, so I'll just go to my and it's uh, Christmas season so let's just take this image copy this image and uh, put it here okay so we are good with this okay so what we're doing we are basically you know uh, making a um, uh, executing a, a job web, web web fetch job and then it has a file it also has an id because because this particular uh, fetch job is linked to this particular asset and uh, you know we can specify different uh, um, assets here but for now I'm just specifying only one asset one image here and then uh, we just have to create this uh, job so for that uh, let me just call this one here and then if we go to client and then we should have jobs yeah so we already have it here so now we are just what we are doing we are just calling this m connector dot client which is of type i web client always jobs create fetch job and just pass your uh, object here like get uh, web uh, web fetch job right and uh, from here so this is important right so when we basically create an object of web fetch job uh, request we basically need to specify a, f a description of it and the asset for which this particular asset will be will get linked so that's what we have specified it here and then uh, let me just make it something else here and let's just see what happens and let's just check this thing now let's go to create and on the create uh, it is still doing let's just wait or if there is some error yeah so now we see we have sample asset uh, let's just see I'm not sure because the renditions are still not um, still has not come it is still not triggered yeah, so this is test but I now you can see that right, we have few additions created because we have the assets in asset uh, got linked there so I think it should be there now right so you see here so similarly you know like this is the very basic um, example how we can create an asset into your uh, content hub environment and uh, that's how basically you set your um, uh, you also configure the the image for your uh, entity also similarly there are several other things also which you can do like if you want to set up some relational fields there as part of your asset ent entity you can do that if you see right now you see uh, right uh, it is directly going to a create right because it is it is in draft state now but if you want to push it directly to your review state or if you want to you know directly publish it you can also ch um, you know change the um, final uh, lifecycle status field for that one so all those things you can do basically whatever options are possible from your uh, from your admin mode all those things you can directly do it programmatically also using web web client sdk and uh, you know you can find uh, some several examples how to do that so i'm not going to go over all those things but yeah those options are always there for you to create it um, you know to configure as many fields you want there and whatever field you want to change it you can you can do that so guys that's what I just want to show as part of this video um, hope it is clear to you and if you have any questions around it you know uh, feel free to uh, reach out and uh, we will check it there so th thanks guys thanks for watching thank you